one year ago. I had spent the last five months starting a YouTube channel. That time I had a whopping 215 subscribers. Today we have over 12 times that amount. Small in the grand scheme of YouTube, but more than I could have ever hoped for in retrospect. Around that time last year, I went through goals I had for the upcoming year. Today, I want to revisit those goals, seeing if we met them or not. After that, I'm gonna set goals you can plan on seeing and hold me accountable to for the upcoming year. As much as possible, I want this episode to be interactive. I wanna hear what you liked and disliked from the previous year's content in the comments. That way I can find areas to improve improve on and I'll make an actionable plan going forward so that they are improved on in the next year. And when we get to the point in the video where I'm discussing the roadmap for the upcoming year, I would love to hear your feedback on that as well and what you would like to see on this channel specifically. To get started, I need to go back, way back to last year around this time. I just got done watching last year's year-end goal video, and boy, uh, the content's kind of hard to watch. I am definitely going to be my worst critic, but I wouldn't have released that video today had I made it nowadays. So I guess, at least in quality assurance, we've improved a little bit. In that video, I listed a bunch of goals, and some of them are hilarious in retrospect. In order, I said that for the TT, we would be getting an oil catch cam, new brakes, rear diffuser, wheels and tires, a wrap, and an E85 tune? Let's address each one of these individually. The oil catch can was not a major priority over the course of the last year, but it is on order now. What actually happened there is I had ordered one from Forge, and it let me pay for it even though it's a product that had been discontinued and they are no longer making. But now I have a proper one on order that is not discontinued. As far as upgrading the brakes goes, at that time all I was referring to was upgraded pads and rotors, which we've done on the TT. I want to expand this goal just a little bit, because in the upcoming year I'd like to put proper big brakes on the car. I think that'd make a pretty notable difference. We completed the goal of installing a rear diffuser as well as upgrading to a new wheel and tire setup. As far as my goal of wrapping the TT, that's definitely one that is still in the work. All the material is on the way, and right now we're really only waiting for it to warm up a little bit outside so it's a feasible project. When I'm recording this, it's roughly negative 20 outside, so it's not exactly the best weather to start wrapping a car. As far as what I said about an E85 tune, I haven't done this one. At that time, I hadn't really done a ton of research into an E85 K04 1.8T, and likely that would have a pretty harsh torque curve for my poor stock rods. We are definitely still going to pursue more power in this car, but I think we may change the approach that I suggested a little bit. There is one goal in this video that I think really aged like fine wine. I'll play you the clip, but the thing that makes it so funny is at the time of recording that video, I was only passively looking for project cars, and I mostly threw this in as a joke to try to get a laugh. So you'll definitely see why it's a bit ironic. One other big announcement I have is I intend to get a second project car for this channel over the course of the next year. Plus, since I'll be keeping the TT and live in an area in the snow, it opens the possibility for me to get a rear-wheel drive car, or something even more unreliable. Lo and behold, after saying that, about two months later, I picked up a B5S4. <laughs> we'll touch on that in more detail in just a second. But overall, to be honest, we either met or have plans to meet all of the goals we set within the last year. We even technically played with E85 on the S4. So all in all, a win. Last year around this time when I made that video, the channel wasn't exactly anywhere near what it is today. It was more something I was doing on a whim. Now it's something I do weekly, no matter what. And it's something I put a lot of passion, effort, and work into. But given that limited list of goals I listed last year, I am really happy with how far we took the channel. I would say we overall exceeded most of the goals we set. I say exceeded because we did a lot more than we initially planned or listed mod-wise. For the TT, we added an entire suspension rebuild in there along with many other mods and fixes. That car is nothing like it was last year at this time, and I know by this time next year, that statement will be true yet again. Kinda cool. 
And as far as adding a second project car to the channel, well, we definitely did that, and then some. The S4 has taught me so much over the past year. Coming in blind, I learned to fix each issue as they came up, and I really started to learn the spirit of the car. We were doing pretty good, making a lot of progress until out of nowhere the car got smashed, which was devastating. I had put a lot of emotional stake into rebuilding this car since I had never done something like this before, so I was excited that it was finally drivable and workable. So when someone hit it, I was devastated. Rather than just giving up, when I got the car back though, we doubled down on learning. I learned to vinyl wrap from pretty much ground zero. Trying over and over again, we successfully transformed the car. And along the way, we met some fantastic companies and people. We took a car that was on the edge of being parted out undrivable to where it is today. A car I am starting to really be happy with, and believe it or not, can depend on. Now, the car is wicked fast, E85 capable, runs great, looks great, and has a full suspension sitting inside waiting for the snow to die down. In other words, for having that car for less than a year, it's changed pretty dramatically. And as you'll see in a bit, I still have plans for it. I put just as much effort into the production as I do modding the cars and planning the mods out. These cars tell stories, and in my mind, it would be a shame to not frame these videos as such. So I'm always actively learning ways to technically improve this content. I'm just as passionate about that aspect as I am about the cars themselves. So overall, I think we did a pretty decent job meeting and exceeding some of the goals we set last year. I think it's time we set some new goals for the upcoming year. I'm gonna loosely break these up by car, as well as how soon you can expect to see them on the channel. Let's start with the TT, the OG. For the TT, our next large project, which I've mentioned a few times now, is definitely gonna be the wrap and cosmetic changes. That is a little difficult to do in this kind of weather, so we're waiting a little bit. I'm also looking into some upgraded headlights and taillights and haven't quite made up my mind on those. Let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I think we should entertain ourselves with the pursuit of a little bit more power. This car's effectively full bolt-on running a stage one tune. I honestly don't think this car or this platform needs 500 horsepower power or something crazy like that to be a lot of fun. The most fun part about this car is the fact that it is fun to drive in any situation on any day. The power is incredibly usable, and I can enjoy it without having to go 150 miles an hour on the highway. It's just as fun puttering around town at low speeds, stoplight to stoplight, as it is going fast on a back road. And I don't want to lose that by putting a turbo on it that spools so late that it's really unusable. Because at the end of the day, I drive this car nearly every single day, and I'd hate to lose what makes this car so fun to begin with. A while ago, I mentioned that I was interested in building a stock block, slightly larger turbo setup for the car, and the response you guys gave me was awesome. You were all really interested in this idea. We've still got a little bit of room to go power-wise before we need to go forged internals, if we do end up bending a rod, it's not like I'm not going to build the engine afterwards and then we'll just have even more fun. So really, we're not going to lose much. And I'm incredibly curious what a stock block slightly bigger turbo can do given the advancements in turbos and tuning since this car first came out and was a really popular platform. The only real wrench that was thrown into this plan was that just recently, like within the last week, we lost more support for different turbo kits online. From what I can tell, ATP is no longer longer making their bolt-on Gen 2 eliminators for this car anymore, which is a pretty big bummer. I'm trying to come up with some workarounds, but we will have to see how custom we want to go with everything. Either way, just know that is coming and more power on this car is definitely in the works. And if you have suggestions along those lines, I'd love to hear them. I'm also planning on getting better brakes and having the suspension professionally tuned when the snow melts. Then we can take the car to autocross or the track and actually see all the effort we put into this car realized. Now let's talk S4. As far as the S4 goes, you can expect to see a full suspension treatment, similar to the TT, as soon as the weather will physically allow me to work on the car for more than a couple of hours. I have no problems working on this car in the cold, but the snow makes working on the suspension specifically a tad more difficult. The front control arms are the only part we are currently still waiting on for the S4 suspension build. Everything else is already here, sitting, waiting for their time to shine. So hopefully in a week or so, those control arms get here so we can get started. Once the S4 suspension is set up, it's going to be in a seriously solid position. 
competition. It'll handle great, accelerate great, and it'll be a fantastic performer in pretty much all the categories. There are still some areas I want to improve though. Namely, I'd like to upgrade the intercoolers, put a proper big brake setup, and once those brakes are upgraded, we'll have enough clearance to run a proper wheel and tire setup. I've also got a few more quality of life mods for the car and services that I want to do to it to make it more reliable and something I can really trust going forward. But that leads me to the two elephants in the room for the S4. Those pesky KO3s. I've been planning for their unpredictable departure since I bought the car. So switching up the turbo setups in the upcoming year is a really serious possibility. Something like proper BorgWarner KO4s or TTE 550s and the supporting mods needed. Haven't quite narrowed it down to a single option yet, but I'm open to both of those for sure. The only real difficult part with upgrading those turbos is I'll need a place to do it. I don't imagine I could get that done in an afternoon, nor do I imagine pulling an engine on the street is probably a really good idea. So we'll have to figure out a way to do this and get creative. Alrighty, the final goal I have for the channel, and one that is tentatively a wild card, but more than likely given my disposition, a for sure goal, is gonna be to get or introduce a third project for the channel. To be honest, I'm pretty much in a constant state of looking for one. There are so many cars that are out there that are completely underrepresented and in my opinion, underappreciated. And I would love to add those underappreciated and underrepresented cars to the channel to tell their story and experience them. I've got this list of cars that are rather obscure and rarely pop up for sale. And I've made myself this kind of promise where if one of them pops up near me for a price I really can't turn down, I would go get it without feeling guilty. The S4 was on that list, and unironically, I went and bought it the day I saw the listing, because I knew I couldn't pass it up, which I'm sure, given you're watching a car video, is probably relatable. Either way, the likelihood of us adding more cars to the channel in the future is guaranteed. It's just a matter of when we can find a suitable addition. And if you happen to have a car you would like to see featured on the channel as a future build, definitely let me know. I am always curious what you guys are interested in. Overall, this was a fantastic year, and I can't thank you enough for joining me and supporting me along the journey. I hope you have all had a tremendous year, and I wish you nothing but the best for the upcoming one. Here is to a fantastic 2023. Thank you so very much for watching. It means a lot. If you enjoyed the video, learned something, or want to see more, consider dropping a like and subscribing. It's the best way you can help support me and my channel. Once again, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much. Have a happy new year.